Good evening guys, bit of a random video for you this one. I haven't done a video in a little while, but I thought as I'm driving home after a horrible, horrible leg day on a Monday, which two things that should never come together. Um, basically the only way I can ever do leg days is if I do it on a Monday, otherwise, well, you know what the majority of us do. <laughs> I'm as human as everyone else. No one fucking likes leg day, and if they tell you they do, there's something wrong with them. Mr. Tom Bond, I'm looking at you. Uh, right, yeah, thought I would record a video for you guys for something interesting, well, reasonably interesting, a little analogy for you that I've kind of come to um, come across. Um, some of you, in fact, the majority of you don't know, I set myself a target with all the calamity that was last year. I set myself a target of doing my motorcycle test um, by June 2015. Granted, it is now July 2015, but let's forget about that for a second. Um, it was my challenge to myself. It was something I've been meaning to do for years, something I've always wanted to do. My uncle rides, my granddad rode. Um, I've ridden kind of 125s, etc. in the past when I commuted, but that's neither here nor there. Either way, it's something I've always wanted to do. And I set myself this challenge of doing it by uh, June this year. Granted, like I said, I'm a little bit behind, but I thought, um, you know what, I'm gonna hold myself to that challenge. I'm gonna hold myself accountable that most of the time, particularly when it comes to people, if I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. Um, the only time I'm sometimes not strict with that is with myself. So this time I thought, you know what? I've said I'm gonna do this, so I'm gonna do it. Anyway, there's a short story long, as it were. So, um, the other day I went for my CBT, because in case, for those of you that have done your motorcycle test, you have to do CBT first, which uh, compulsory basic training, which lasts three years. Then you have to do another theory test, that horrible, horrible highway code test that we all remember. I've got to do another one of them. Um, after that, it's a module one test, which is maneuvers in a car park, basically, followed by module two, which is road riding. That's kind of the principle of it. But anyway, had my CBT last Thursday, and I've done a CBT before. Um, instructor, to become parent, wasn't very good, didn't teach me very well, but right now I'm driving a car. I know how to drive a car, I know how to be safe, so much so that I can, in essence, record a video while I'm driving a car, but my ha my dissension is not distracted. If anybody's watching this and wants to have a rant, so it's as if I'm talking to somebody in the car. But anyway, I keep going off on tangents, forgive me. Basically, I went and did this test, this, um, this compulsory basic training, and I've ridden a motorcycle. Like I said, I commuted back and forth to Brighton for about nine months, so I know how to ride, you know? I know how to maneuver a motorcycle, I know road sense, you know, general safety, etc. Um, you know, I'm 27 now, I've been driving since I was 17. I've had 10, you know, 10 years of, um, of experience. But, and this is the big but, the analogy I'm leading up to is I went along and rode the motorcycle, you know, did all the maneuvers in the car park before I was allowed out on the road. And the instructor, Mark, superb guy at Phoenix Motorcycle Training in Bogner, if anybody's interested. Um, absolutely superb instructor. Um, I told him what I was doing it for, not just to get a, a 125 license, but to um, to progress to a big bike. And um, so I said to him, please don't go easy on me. I need you to be strict. I want to do this, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it properly. You guys know me by now. I don't like to do things in halves. So anyway, um, he runs me through the maneuvers, and I was shocking. So my general kind of awareness and controlness of the motorcycle was um, was okay, you know, I knew how to maneuver it, but in my eyes I was shocking, you know, and, and Mark said to me, you know what, you know, you can tell you've commuted and it's not done me any favors, the fact I've ridden before, because it's, I've picked up so many bad habits, and even with driving, I've picked up so many bad habits, talking on the phone, being one of them, um, talking to a phone. So, the reason I'm kind of working my way to this analogy is you can apply the same thing, I'm talking to personal trainers out there in particular, you can apply the same thing to the way that you train your clients. And to be honest, everybody you trains or exercise in some way, shape or form, don't mind what, you can apply this to that. The longer you do something, the worse you get at it. And I know the normal analogy is, you know, the longer you do something, surely the better you get at it. Yes, in a sense, you know, practice makes perfect, but, when you first learn to drive a test, you learn to do all your maneuver checks, you know, your mirror signal maneuver, and on a motorbike it's even more so. There's something called a lifesaver for those of you that don't ride, which is basically looking over your shoulder. And you have to do this fucking permanently. Literally, every fucking time you do any slightest maneuver, you need to do a lifesaver. And it's for exactly reason, that reason. It's a lifesaver check, which gives you the, affords you the ability to change your mind. For example, I'm in two lanes right now. If I want to go into the right-hand lane, there's no specific division with these lanes. 
If I want to go into the right hand lane, I would do a check over my right shoulder to make sure there's nothing there. We do this in a car all the time, but we do it mostly with mirrors. And to be fair, let's face it, how many of us do it on a regular basis? How many of us do a check before we pull away? And obviously to pass a motorcycle test and to ride safely, you should be doing these checks all the time. And that got me thinking with regards how I train myself and how I train my clients. Firstly, you're bombarded with so much information on the internet that you can get lost in it. I've had so many people just that have tried, I mean it's one of the reasons that personal training is, is, uh, is used, one of the reasons of course, because there's so much information out there, people don't know how to sift through the bullshit and the bro science. Look at my previous post, it's about how much protein you require per day. You know, this 1 to 1.5 to 1.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight, where did it come from? Because all the studies that I've found show something different. But before I get a lot of rants from a lot of fitness professionals, and PTs, etc., this is my opinion, okay? And I will train my clients throughout my experience and my own opinion, okay? I'm trialing this protein method at the moment and we'll see what kind of fruits come from it. But it's an interesting read, go and have a look. But anyway, back to this. My main point is you could be doing something over and over again, you could be doing something for a very long time, but it doesn't necessarily mean that a refresher or taking things right back to basics won't help. So with regards my uh, to pass this test, obviously because I've picked up so many bad habits, it's fucking difficult to break bad habits. It's really difficult to get back into the habit of not just indicating to go round and round about, but indicating to come off a roundabout, you know, doing lifesaver checks. So I'm trying, granted right now is an exclusion from this, I'm trying, whenever I drive my car, because obviously I drive, you know, day to day as a day job, um, I'm trying, whenever I drive my car, to drive it like I would the motorbike. So doing my lifesaver checks every single time I pull away, changing gear properly, changing down properly, everything. I'm basically teaching myself to drive all over again while I'm driving around. Seems like a nonsensical exercise, but like I said, I don't like to do things by halves, and if I'm going to pass this motorcycle test in a couple of months' time, then I want to pass it with flying colours. I don't just want to go, yeah, you're all right, you scraped through. I want a, you know, a proper good result. So hence, I'm practicing while I'm driving around in the car. And I want you guys, as a little bit of kind of, a little bit of assessment for you, try it, not just with your training yet, yeah? try it just with driving. I want you, next time you're out in the car, to drive like you've got a driving instructor sat next to you. Try it, and it's fucking difficult because you literally, you're sat there trying to remember everything that you learned, me 10 years ago, you know, some of you watching this, you'll be, you know, something you learned 50 years ago. Granted, you know, driving test was different back then, but honestly, give it a go. And that's what I'm doing right now, like I said, with, with trying to pass a motorcycle test. And those retraining those bad habits is really, really difficult. And it just literally takes repetition after repetition after repetition. And in the same way of I'm going out in the car and every time I'm doing it, every time I get in the car, I'm a little bit better and it's becoming more instinctual because the one thing my rider picked up on me and my instructor picked up on me for was the fact that I need to relax more and it needs to become more instinct. The problem is it's not instinct because it's not what I'm used to doing. And I'm a good driver, you know, I'm not going to blow smoke up my ass. It's a family trait, you know, all our family are good drivers. My brother's, you know, he races carts. He's a superb driver. Um, my mum also, my granddad's, you know, my nan, they're all very, very good drivers. So, you know, it's not like I'm a shit driver in the first place, but it just makes you realise how you're forgetting the basics, how you could be a better driver. And even though someone taught you that on the day one, as time goes on, you forget things and you forget the principles and you're too blinded with going in with, you know, oh, just get into your destination as quickly as you can to forget and think about the reasons, you know, your safety and things like that. Apply that to fitness, and you know training in general applying it to that you can go you're too blinded with the end goal of getting your sets your reps out that you forget you know for example it's not about hitting 10 10 10 reps it's about that feeling it's about going you know one before failure if you will or you know two before failure you know it's about pushing yourself to 90 percent with regards to form you can apply the same thing you know training's about assessing your form you know and about making sure that your form is safe over time that form's going to drop off i've done kind of numerous videos lifesaver i've done numerous videos on this one in the past about kind of taking things back to basics but forgive me i, I thought i'd share that with you i've rambled on for what nine minutes now but um yeah i thought i'd share that with you um just an analogy i realized that you know what even if you think you're an absolutely superb driver and you think you're an absolutely superb pt or that you're you know you go in the gym and you smash it and you're absolutely superb at your training 
Just take things back a second and imagine there was an instructor next to you. Those of you that have done a level three personal training course, imagine that your tutor is next to you or your examiner is next to you, your assessor. Are you doing enough to pass that exam? Because the exam's not there just to tick a box. The exam's there to make sure that you're good at what you do. So just go back to basics and imagine there's an assessor watching you. And I promise you it will surprise you. Anyway, I am home now. So I bid you guys a very good night. Hope everything's going well for you. Lots of updates. Um, as always, there are things going on behind the scenes with regards um, seatbelt off. Uh, with regards to the freestyle classes and loads of stuff that I'm up to at the moment. So stay tuned. Um, but as always, guys, if you need any help with your training, please don't hesitate to drop me like a comment below or drop me a comment in general. Um, I'm going to hobble into my house now because my legs are killing me and try and operate the clutch on the way back was interesting. So guys, have a good night and I'll catch you later in the week. All the best.